Treating an ACL injury in a young athlete requires special consideration. Let's discuss. Injuries in young athletes can be a scary time for both the patient and the parents, especially when it comes to an injury like an ACL tear that may require surgery. While it's true that there are special considerations in treating a young patient, rest assured the likelihood of a great result is very high. In this video, we'll go over some of the factors that go into treating a child with an ACL injury and hopefully help to ease your mind. Let's start by talking about one of the main things that doctors have to consider when performing ACL surgery in a young athlete. In a growing child, there are specific locations in the bone called growth plates, or physes, where bone growth occurs. At the knee, there are growth plates in the femur and the tibia, and in traditional ACL surgery, we drill tunnels and pass our ACL graft directly through these regions. And while it's rare, it's possible that during this procedure, the growth plates may become injured, and as a result, a growth disturbance may occur. As a result, doctors have come up with techniques that avoid the growth plates entirely. For an example of one of these procedures, you can head to the operating room by clicking here. As we mentioned, despite this risk, the likelihood of growth abnormalities after ACL surgeries are very low, even when using these traditional techniques that are used in adults. So be confident. There are also orthopedic surgeons who have specialty training in treating pediatric sports injuries. So if your doctor doesn't have experience treating kids, they can likely point you in the right direction. Another question you may have is whether or not it's safe or even necessary to perform this surgery in a young child. The fact of the matter here is that this surgery is very safe and in many patients is often the best way to get a great long-term result for the young athlete. Just as in adults, delaying or avoiding surgery may lead to continued episodes of instability injuries to the other structures in the knee, and potentially increase the likelihood of developing early arthritis. However, every case is different, so this is a discussion best had with your surgeon. Now let's talk about how an ACL injury can affect school and getting back to your sports teams. In many cases, after an ACL injury, a young athlete won't have to miss much, if any, time from school. When it comes to surgery, most patients will likely need a few days to recover and be comfortable enough to get back to class. Most doctors will also recommend ice, elevation, and pain medications after surgery, so that may also be difficult to do while in school. So, while you can't predict when an ACL injury will occur, many student athletes will prefer to have surgery near a holiday or school vacation to allow for even more time to recover. Also, part of your pre-surgical preparation should be getting notes from your doctor to excuse you from PE and, if possible, for some extra time getting to and from your classes. In regards to sports, recovery time after surgery is similar to that in adults, so having an ACL surgery will likely mean the end of your current season. However, if all goes well, you should be back in action next time around. For more information on returning to sports and how you'll know when you're ready, check out this video. Overall, while there are some slight differences in the way ACL injuries are treated in kids, the majority of the principles are the same, and so are the excellent results of ACL surgery. So work hard, take your time, and listen to your surgeon and your therapist, because as you know, recovery is always a team effort. We hope you've discovered some good information. Keep coming back to Ready, Set, Med for all your medical needs.